Well, this is Pearl speaking. This is a trip that I took to, took to Scotland. Uh, we went with Trafalgar Company, and we is me and Sandra Alexander, Sandy. Uh, this was sep September 13th to the 20th. It was 2003. Sandy and I had gone to Ireland together, and oh, it was so nice and green and trees all over, and the people were so friendly. And we talked about it, and we said, well, let's go to Scotland, see how that is. So this is what's happening. We're, we're going to Scotland. Now, I left uh, Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport, and I flew to Atlanta, and of course had to change, and then to Charleston, South Carolina, where Sandy lives, and she met me. Be now, before this, you have to do things, you know, you just don't get on the plane. <laughs> well, I have to, anyway. I had to take the Cockatiel Leroy, and I had to take my yellow Labrador Molly to Rambo's. Yes. He looks like his name, Rambo, this huge man, but he loves dogs, and he will be good to Molly, and he, he's, he, he has Leroy in his house, see, and so he says to me, I'm trying to teach him to say, Leroy is a redneck, so far, <laughs> no success on that one, oh gosh. Leroy is a redneck. <laughs> well, he's not a redneck, but he's got those orange spots on his head. <laughs> he's got a yellow head with orange spots, and he has a gray body, and then all along the edges of his wings, it's white. But you don't get to see those because he's not flying around the house. He tried that a couple of times and landed up in the ficus tree all excited. So far, now, uh, let me tell you about Ralphie and I. Uh, we met Sandy on a trip uh, where we went to the Galapagos, and we went to uh, uh, Ecuador and uh, Peru. And she was alone, and gosh, we just loved her. And uh, every place we'd go, if we'd go to town, come on, Sandy, let's go, let's go, you know. And we had so much fun together. So after Ralphie died, um, Sandy called up about two months later, and she said, I'm going to Ireland, Pearl. Would you like to go with me? Oh, I says, yes, I would. I just felt I really needed to start doing something except sitting around thinking. And we did, and gosh, we had a great time. Oh, my goodness, it was so good. So now we go to Scotland, and I, myself, am going to make a personal survey of what is under the kilts. We will, I'll let you know more about that later. I, I found out a few things. I, I'm, I'm going to tell them because I know that the Elks Club is waiting with bated breath to hear the results. <laughs> this is my first trip since Burma last November. I don't know what happened there. Well, it happened before I went because I kept telling Betty, I, I can't go, I, I, don't, I, can't, I can't walk, I, I'm just lost. And she kept saying, oh, please, please, and I don't know, well, I, okay. But I, ha I, had, I lost five units of blood and 15 pounds. And when I came home, I went to the doctor, and I said, something is wrong. But see, I was sick before I went. This had nothing to do with Burma. And uh, I was in bed rest for a month, and uh, I was with diarrhea forever almost a year. Finally, September comes again, and I am A-OK. -okay. 
Uh, but Doc says, no third world trips for a year, even though I didn't get this here thing here. I had a spastic esophagus, and now I'm at 130 pounds of fat, and I'm sassy. <laughs> and to tell the truth, I've had three doctors and no one knows what it was. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, after all, they're only practicing, so we can't expect miracles. 